that he which hath your noble father slain pursued my life at Wild Pierce. But tell me, why you proceeded not against these feats, so crimeful and so capital in nature? Oh, for two special reasons, which may to you perhaps seem so baseless, but yet to me they are strong. The queen, his mother, lives almost by his looks, and for myself, she's so conjunctive to my life and soul. The other motive is the great love the ordinary people bear him. <coughs> but my revenge will come. He <coughs> just sleeps for that. We loved your father, and we love ourselves. And that, I hope, will teach you to imagine how. Hannah, what news? Letters, my lord, from Hamlet. This to your majesty. This to the queen. From Hamlet? Who brought them? A sailor, my lord, they say. I saw him not. They were given me by Claudio. I will send them of him that brought them. The letters you shall hear them. Leave us. High and mighty, you shall know I am set penniless on your kingdom. Tomorrow shall I beg leave to see your kingly eyes. When I shall, first asking your pardon the run to, Recount the occasion of my sudden and more strange return. <coughs> Hamlet, what should this mean? Are all the rest come back? Or is it some abuse and no such thing? No, you the hand. Tis Hamlet's character. <coughs> Penniless. In the postscript here, he says, alone. Can you advise me? I'm lost in it, my lord. But let him come. It warms. The very sickness in my heart that I shall live and tell him to his teeth, thus dieth thou. If it be so, ladies, will you be ruled by me? I, my lord, so you will not force me to a peace. I will work him to an exploit. Now ripe in my device, under the which he shall not choose but fall. And for his death, no wind of blame should breathe, but even his mother shall in charge of the practice. And call it accident. My lord, I will be ruled. The rather, if you could devise it so, that I might do the deed. It was right. You have been talked of since your trouble much, and that in Hamlet's hearing, for a quality <coughs> wherein they say you shine. What part is that, my lord? Your art with rapier, most especial. Hamlet was so envenomed with his envy that he could nothing do but wish and beg your sudden coming over to challenge you. Now out of this, what out of this, my lord? Ladies, was your father dear to you? Or are you like the painting of a sorrow, a face without a heart? Why I ask you this? To be brief, Hamlet comes back. What would you undertake? to show yourself your father's son in deed, more than in words, to cut his throat in the church. Indeed, no place shall murder sanctuaries. Revenge should have no bounds. We shall bring you in fine together, and wager on your heads. He, being remiss, most generous, and free from all contriving, will not peruse the foes. So that, with ease, Oh, with a little shuffling, you may choose a sword unbated, and in a pass of practice, requite him for your father. I will do it. And for that purpose, I'll anoint my sword. I bought a large ship of a mountebank, so mortal that the dip a knife in it, for he but scratched, nothing under the moon could save him from death. It's for the thing of this. Weigh what convenience of both time and means may fit us to our shape. So, let me see. We'll make a solemn wager on your skills. I have it. When in your motion you are hot and dry, as make your bouts more violent to that end, and that he calls for drink, I have prepared him a chalice for the nonce, whereon but sipping, if he by chance escape your venom thrust, our purpose may hold there.